Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Gallic Gun Toys. Uh, thank you for joining me in today's video and today we're doing something I've been promising to do for a while on the channel. Uh, I'm at my mum's place and uh, behind me I have uh, a part of uh, the collection I keep here. I got a little bit uh, all around me on the other side of the wall here. So uh, I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a tour. Um, but before we get started, uh, I just thought I'd like to do a little bit of uh, background. Okay, uh, when I first started doing, uh, when I first created my YouTube account and first started uploading videos, uh, they weren't anywhere near the quality uh, that my videos have been now. Uh, I was just shooting them on an iPhone. Uh, I was getting my girlfriend to uh, hold the camera for me, so we didn't uh, have a tripod or anything. We were doing it very, very cheaply. Um, I was uploading videos through just the uh, mobile app and it, I, I was just kind of playing around with it. Uh, so if any of you uh, have seen any of those videos, uh, any of my old, old collection videos um, that would be a few years old now, um, you will recognize a few of the shelves here and quite a few of the items uh, because they're just, uh, a lot of it is left over from uh, that that part of my collection that I uh, couldn't take with me uh, when I moved out of my own place. So, um, we're going to go over everything <clears throat> today, guys. Um, there is quite a lot, um, because since I've moved it here, uh, I tend to, when I go to a trade day or like a toy fair or something, uh, a lot of the stuff you see here is the stuff I'll be sort of looking out for to pick up uh, at a good price. So let's jump into it and uh, yeah, let's uh, get to it. Okay, so we'll start with a quick uh, outwards shot of everything so you can sort of just see what we're working with here. So there are the shells I have there, a bit of Dragon Ball there. We're going to get in and have a very, a much better look at all this in a sec. And we go over here, we've got some Eagle Moss Batman cars. And then this is just uh, my little uh, excess shelf over here. I do have a giant Ninja Turtle down there uh, that just sits at my mum's door. Okay, so I think we'll start here guys. Just give you guys a look. Okay, so this is just all my turtles. I got lots of different variants of uh, Ninja Turtles, and I got the Turtle Blimp here. Uh, that was actually deflated um, by the person I bought it off, and had a pillow stuffed in it, and then was uh, stapled together. So it actually holds its form quite well, and still looks pretty good just sitting there on the uh, glider. And then that is a uh, 2015 reproduction Krang. Uh, when they redid those, uh, we've got an Usagi Jumbo in the back, and just some other variants. If you guys caught my Mega Trade Day videos, I picked this one up off uh, Dan. I actually think I picked up this one off Dan as well, this uh, pizza launching Raf. He's one of my favourites. And the uh, baseball uh, raft here and the uh, prehistoric Leo, I'm, yeah, they, they both came from him as well. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I got that off him as well. Uh, this was one I had as a kid uh, that mum got me. And I just, uh, when, I, when I saw he had one, uh, Dan had one for sale a few years back, I jumped on that because that was just... Just awesome. <clears throat> okay, so here we get on to my uh, turtle place set with all my villains on there. I got uh, Bebop and Rocksteady, and then uh, the changing figures. So them in their like human form, they transform into Bebop and Rocksteady from those. Some old school turtle transformers. Yeah, I got all the turtles in there with April and. Splinter and a Neutrino, and uh, we got Leatherhead in the 
back of the sewer there, hiding away, and Rat King, and uh, some mouses from the 2012 Ninja Turtle series, just because I love mouses. Uh, and I think they look pretty cool. And here we've got the 2012 Turtles in their uh, sort of sort of like the modern version of the party wagon. And I really love this because I always wanted a turtle wagon that had an opening back door for the turtles to jump out of or whatever. So I am a really, really big fan of uh, this particular 2012 Ninja Turtle vehicle. Uh, I didn't like any of the other ones. This one uh, really, really did it for me. And then you can see we've got the 2012 uh, Mirage comic style version turtles. Uh, we got Raph from the Next Mutation and the rest of the Next Mutation turtles there, uh, except Venus. And uh, Raph from the 20... Uh, sorry, the 2007 movie as the Night Watcher. And uh, we got the Turtle Wagon. And uh, we got the Turtle Chopper that you would have seen I got as a gift from a friend. I was in one of my recent haul videos. And then we got like a Dark Knight Returns Batman down here next to the tank and a heap of other Eagle Moss Batman uh, vehicles that I can't uh, fit anywhere else. And then uh, behind that is like an evolution of Leonardo uh, pack. And it's just... I'll just pull this out quickly. See, oh, we've lost the backing to that. Yeah, it's just all different versions of Leonardo. Um, a good good variety of them, actually. Uh, it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, yeah, just some Fast and the Furious cars. Okay. Now, I'll just make this really quick, guys, because this is just... Uh, I started collecting these to get the Batman Beyond car, and kind of regretted collecting all these because it was uh, quite a few... I think it was like three years of collecting those. Okay, so we'll start up with the Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, so the other Dragon Ball stuff I have here, you guys have seen. Uh, the stuff I have packed away is uh, I featured in my Dragon Ball collectible storage video. So this is everything else that, uh, yeah, that uh, isn't stored away. So. Uh, with the last of the, these couple shells that I'm about to show you guys, that is the last of my Dragon Ball collection to date. So, this is one of my favourites, this uh, GT Gohan and Goten, I think that's really awesome. And one of my favourites. I got a Krillin with the capsule ship, I got that from my mate Glenn, uh, who I got, Zel uh, got Link off. Uh, Got a Figma link off from the trade day. Got peel off and shoe up there. Uh, they've all been open. I've just put them back in their boxes uh, until I uh, get a more permanent display going. Uh, just some nice older figures there. I do like that Gohan, even though he's a bit uh, dated by today's standards. And then some uh, old school Sofubis. Uh, I'm just thinking which one is going to be the best one for my best friend's um, son, who's just been born. Uh, I'm thinking um, maybe the tail's a choking hazard, maybe maybe this one because it's not a choking hazard, but that one's classic. Mm, I don't know, I'm going to have a play with the tail mic and see what, uh, see what works, uh, because yeah, we've we got to get him started on Dragon Ball Young. I agree. Okay, so this is just my movie collection figures. Uh, just slowly built this over the years. Just buying random lots and buying single figures here and there. Uh, yeah, just some really, really amazing pieces for the time. Um, the ones I bought new uh, are this Vegeta, uh, this Gohan here. <clears throat> from the Bojack movie, and the uh, trunks in the back here. Uh, but the rest of them, you can see some of them, like Bojack especially, are a bit scuffed up. 
because I bought them in a in a massive lot uh, and they actually really really stunk uh, I didn't display them with my other figures for years uh, and my mum put them in a bucket of uh, something and soaked them for a couple days and it completely got rid of the smell it had like a really really manky smell like wet laundry or yeah it was strange um, if any of you have ever bought secondhand figures off eBay and they've just kind of just come thrown in a box uh, you might know what I'm talking about uh, it's maybe maybe comes from like a, a basement or something that's really damp uh, I'm not sure but it, it's really horrible uh, so a I think I think she used dead old for that and um, yeah so we got some old school turtles here that I don't have room for and just quickly because I was rambling just have a quick look at all the Dragon Ball random Dragon Ball figures I have here this is all like my older classic stuff so really really great pieces here uh, recently uh, a couple years ago picked up uh, tapey on here and I already had Minosha, so I was really, really stoked to get those. Uh, and I pick a few of these up from time to time. Just depends when I see them. Okay, so we saw the turtles. And this is just like my little random shelf. Uh, if any of you guys live in Australia and were around uh, and were, you know, watching the X Men cartoon as a kid. Uh, you'll probably remember these Macca's toys. These, I think, came out about 26, 27 years ago. Uh, and, yeah, I just, I think they're absolutely awesome. Uh, and still, still have a very, very special place in my heart. Uh, that's why I just can't get rid of them. And, yeah, just some cool Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Uh, Space Jam KFC toy in the back there. Uh, once again, just one of those things that uh, just gives gives me those good feels um, from my childhood. You know, he's got a little ball joint articulated uh, neck. It's just a pretty quality figure for the uh, for the time it came out. Let's see, nineteen ninety six. Yeah, nineteen eighty six. So that was. I'm pretty sure it was uh, KFC. Pretty sure it was KFC anyway. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just lots of lots of little random stuff. Um, some Beast Wars, some Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Transformers, uh, Darkwing Duck, and Gizmo Duck. Is it? Uh, they're actually Macca's toys. From about 26 years ago, 27 years ago as well, maybe longer. I do remember they're some of my earliest memories of Macca's toys I had as a kid. <clears throat> uh, these are the Silver Surfer and Wolverine in the gnarly colours. I'll just bring Wolverine out so you guys can get a bit of a look at him. Uh, these came out when I was a kid as well. I think I would have been 8 or 9, so these would be... 20, 20, 20 something years old, not bad, and then down here I've got my uh, collection of Toy Fair magazines, uh, if any of you guys ever got into Toy Fair you'll know how awesome they were back in the day, I've got a little Kylo Ren hiding in the back there that was meant to go to the trade day I'm pretty sure, and here we have uh, Street Sharks, uh, I was about six when these guys hit the uh, television and hit the toy aisle, and yeah, just just awesome toys. <clears throat> I've slowly, slowly just been rebuilding uh, my Street Shark collection, and yeah, it's uh, finally, finally looking quite impressive. I've got most of the Dino Avengers. I think I'm missing like one that I want, and uh, I've got pretty much all the main characters. Okay, so let's start at the top here. So we got uh, Goku, you guys saw that uh, when I got that one in. And we've got a, a reproduction, uh, it's like the classic collection original 
originally released in 1998, re-released in uh, 2014 or 2013 or something. Uh, so that's really cool. I've kept that one sealed because I have a vin because I have the vintage one loose that you guys saw just before. Uh, this is my complete in the box, loose in the box, complete <clears throat> Technodrome. I picked this up for like a couple hundred bucks uh, at a at a toy fair a few years ago, and uh, it is just the pride of my Ninja Turtle collection. Uh, I did actually have one. I uh, did have a loose one that John. Uh, my mate John that you guys have seen on the channel a few times now, uh, he actually found at the tip for five bucks and uh, I built that up but then when I moved and uh, my turtle collection had to come here, I took that and uh, sold it to uh, my friend Dave uh, over at 80s Jedi. Uh, so go check him out on uh, on YouTube, he's got some really really great videos. Also does a wicked podcast on uh, toys and action figures and movies and collecting in general and yeah, just some really great stuff. So we got some uh, builder figures here. We got the Brood Queen, Brood Queen, Brood Queen. Uh, we got the Sentinel. We got Apocalypse. And there's some older ones. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Okay, uh, we got a. Just like a large Boba Fett, large Inquisitor. We got the uh, TIE Fighter that I did have at home for a while there, but it's recently been moved here. Uh, you guys saw I picked these up at the Toy Fair, the two Wolverines. Got some Judge Dredd figures in the back there. Some uh, razors I got from Japan because they have awesome razor kits. Uh, we got some little Star Wars miniatures down the bottom here. Darth Cadus, my favourite Star Wars character of all time, right there with the green saber. <clears throat> and then we got, uh, I can't remember her, her name from uh, Neon Genesis. Okay, so this is my Marvel Legends movie shelf. So we got like all the main MCU characters there. Uh, there's a few I don't have, I'm not actively collecting the MCU. Uh, figures anymore, but I do pick up uh, when I have a chance like Killmonger I recently got um, And a few others just because when I do uh, see them and They're not too pricey. I will get them to throw them on that shelf if it's a character. I don't have So here is the pride and joy of my Marvel Legends collection and the reason I won't get out of Marvel Legends collecting anytime soon is because they are absolutely killing it with their X-Men characters and just the amount we're getting and uh, guys it's just it's it's amazing uh, I'm loving it so could not be happier uh, with the X-Men setup I've got a lot more coming I've got the new X-Men Caliban Builder figure wave coming so that's going to look really good there. And then I've also got the uh, new Magneto pack coming out with Magneto and Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Uh, and Professor X as well. I got, got him coming. So this is my Spider-Man shelf. I just got some Spider-Man villains. Every symbiote I can get my hands on. Uh, a couple of my goblins there. Old Hulkbuster, Spider-Hulk figure in the back there. And yeah, just some really, really cool stuff. Uh, I have thinned this out quite a lot, but uh, there's some I just, just can't get rid of. Spider-Man one of, was one of my early loves. So here we are, we're moving on to the Beast Wars guys. Uh, just a small little Beast Wars collection. I've been building this up for a couple of years. Uh, when John and I went to Japan, I picked a few up. And it's just kind of just grown from there. Uh, and you've s probably seen the other ones I have, uh, if you've checked out my Beast Wars video uh, that I did a while back. Okay, so that's the Beast Wars. Quickly move on to the Star Wars Black series. And I got some 3 and 3 quarter inch just thrown in there. Just some expa old Expanded Universe stuff that I'm just a really big fan of. 
Okay, I'll do this last shelf here. It's got Vader and Luke on it. And a Hot Wheels uh, Batmobile. And we might do the bottom shelves while we're down here. So I don't have to come back down. Uh, so we've got my Zoids down here. Once again, just randomly pick them up whenever I get a chance. Uh, and this is one of my more random shelves. Uh, just some childhood stuff, like the Mighty Ducks figures. Uh, I have a lot of love for those and appreciation for those. Because uh, I played with those a lot as a kid. And just some cool Simpsons stuff. <clears throat> some Simpsons... Uh, variant uh some simpsons characters from certain episodes that i just love like uh homer in his moo moo and uh the collector i think every simpsons fan that is a collector needs the collector on a shelf just because and uh who doesn't love see my vest mr burns and here we got a heap of more turtles uh, troll ones, uh, I was talking about my last video and for those of you that were wondering here is some of my Batman Beyond collection this is my Batman Beyond shelf and yeah the rest is uh, at home alright so we've done the Beast Wars okay we have done everything, I'm pretty sure. Yep, we have. Okay. So thank you for joining me uh, on that one, guys. Uh, I do apologize for it being a little bit uh, more long-winded than a normal collection video uh, at home. Just because um, I don't see everything that I have here uh, all the time. It's uh, usually... I'm lucky to maybe see my collection here once a week, uh, so it is good therapy to uh, come here and enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to wrap this one up guys, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you really enjoyed uh, this look at my my second collection, um, yeah, and uh, if you enjoyed, enjoyed the video guys, drop a comment down below, uh, let me know what you thought. Um, Really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.